The Ellen Bradley Micrologics 1100 has been configured for high speed counter operation. The initial configuration steps to set this up include wiring to input 0, 1, 2, or 3 on the Micrologics 1100 for your input. Once you've done that, you'll need to go to your RS Logics 500 function file, choose the HSC tab, and the following parameters at a minimum must be configured. Your program file number needs to be set between 3 and 255, and I'll expand on that further in a moment. You must also enable the auto start function by changing the bit to 1, the counting enabled function bit to 1, and for basic counting up procedures, you need to set the low preset to 0 and the high preset to a number that you would like the counter to reset at when the count is reached. The program file number, I mentioned it has to be between 3 and 255, and that program number is found over here under program files. You normally you have 0, 1, and 2 as defaults. You have to add a new one for subroutines to be called when the high preset is reached within the high speed counter. So the point of a high speed counter in any PLC is that we have the ability to count pulse signals that are going faster than the PLC's scan rate. The way this works is that we have a dedicated counter circuit uh, inside the PLC itself that's able to perform counts of events between scans of the program. And then when the program actually scans through, it can see what count value that counter has reached. So that's the, the notion here. We use this for counting high frequency signals. In the case of the 1100, it's up to 20 kilohertz. So 20,000, okay. So what we're doing here is we've actually set up the high speed counter and once it's set up, the source of that value is uh, HSC, high speed counter, colon zero dot ACC. And it's the accumulator value for high speed counter zero. And of course it's counting very, very fast. Right now we have a frequency of two kilohertz being put into it. There's our pulse signal on the oscilloscope. We're using an opto isolator to couple the the on-off uh, signals over here to our PLC to avoid any ground loop problems. And so we've got this very fast counting uh, number. And we actually have had a count up to large values and we see it, it does accumulate 2,000 counts for every second. What we happen to be doing here in this ladder logic program is we're using one of the time-based bits to alternately enable a move function which takes the accumulator value of that counter, moves it into the register N70, then after that, immediately after, it resets the accumulator value. So the RAC, that's the reset instruction we must use for a high-speed counter. It's different from a normal counter reset in the Allen Bradley programming. We're telling it to take the high-speed counter zero and uh, force it to a value of zero. We're essentially presetting that to a, a value of zero. What that does for us is every time this contact closes on the rising edge, we capture the current value of the accumulator and then we immediately reset that accumulated value to zero. So right now uh, we are accumulating up to 400 uh, at the 2 kilohertz frequency. <clears throat> so essentially this is going on for about, the, what would that be, about one-fifth of a second, I'm doing my math right, um, to get a count of 400 with 2,000 uh, pulses per second. If I take this frequency and decrease it, let's say from 2 kilohertz down to 1 kilohertz, we should see that captured count value in N70 be one half of its former value. There's one kilohertz, and over here, sure enough, 204. Instead of being 400 and change, it's now 200 and change. So we're doing this because we're eventually going to use this kind of a program to interpret the pulses from a turbine flow meter measuring airflow. And those pulses come into the PLC pretty quick, uh, quicker than the program can actually scan through, hence the need for a high speed counter. This is our first real working test program we have. It's very crude. <clears throat> it does nothing but take that high frequency pulse train and scale it into a, a, a small value here, which we can read in the N7 register. But later, this will be used to measure flow rate through a pipe and to uh, be part of a, a flow control system. So it's pretty neat to see the high speed counter operation of the Micrologics 1100. This is the first time I've ever been involved with this before. And although the setup took a little bit of uh, head scratching and manual reading to figure out with all those parameters in the, the HSC uh, function file, it is doable. And it's one neat feature you can do with this small PLC.